Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on T beams. Width of the flange is given as 1000 mm. Depth of the flange is given as 120 mm. Width of the rib is given as 320 mm. Effective depth is given as 500 mm. Area of the steel is given as 6 bars of 25 mm diameter. Grade of the steel is given as FE 415 and grade of the concrete is given as M20. Using this data, we can find AST. First, we need to find the depth of the neutral axis. Let us assume that the neutral axis lies in the flange. From the IS 456 code book, page number 96, we need to copy this. We can eliminate D. Instead of B, we have to apply BF. For XU, we will get 147.69 mm. Depth of the flange is 120 mm. XU is greater than DF. In this case, our assumption is incorrect. Neutral axis falls outside the flange. Now, we have to check whether the ratio DF upon D exceeds 0 0.2. DF upon D exceeds 0 0.2 because we have got 0 0.24. In this case, the movement of resistance should be calculated by this equation, but we have to also follow the class G2.3. We can see that later. We know that the summation of the compressive forces will be equal to the tensile force. To memorize these three formulas are difficult. So let us see a shortcut how to memorize these. In this one, we can eliminate D and we can arrange like this. Instead of B, we have to apply BW. This is C1 and this is T. And from the page number 97, we have to see this equation. C2 is this one. We can copy that. The formula for YF is here. We can copy that. YF should not be greater than DF. DF is 120, we can apply that so that we will get this. In this, we can apply all of them so that for XU, we will get 127.61 mm. For DF upon XU, we will get 0.94. So it is greater than 0.43. In this one, we can apply the value of XU so that we will get YF, which is less than DF. For FY 415, XU max upon D is 0 0.48, D is 500, 500 into 0 0.48, we will get 240. In our case, XU max is greater than XU and XU is greater than DF. Let us find XU upon D. For that, we will get 0 0.25. We will need it later while finding the moment of resistance. For XU max greater than XU greater than DF, the moment of resistance can be calculated when DF upon XU exceeds 0 0.43 using G 2.2.1. This is what? But we have to substitute XU max by XU. So instead of XU max, I have applied XU. In this one, we can apply all of the values. So that we will get this, we can divide this by 10 power 6. So that we will get the answer in kilo Newton meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.